I'm here with Richard Adebayo, still kicking. Well, it's been a long time, but uh, you know, I've been at every level, high school, college, MBA, um, women, WNBA with uh, Liberty, and then um, also coached in Russia and Israel for, for a, a, a bit, you know, it's a lot of experience, but every level and it's been fun. Out of all the places you've been to, what's the most comfortable setting? Well, a, a couple because I grew up in New Jersey and New York, so the Knicks was a, a setting that I loved because I worshipped Madison Square Garden my whole life when I used to watch them play. And then I got a chance to coach there, and then that's why I took the livery job. That was six years in Madison Square Garden, which was great. Uh, but I really enjoyed the Dallas Mavericks. I was with them for seven years, um, and we had some really good teams. We took the Lakers seven games. You know, with um, Kareem and Worthy and Magic and Cooper and Scott. So we're talking about the Showtime Lakers. Oh, yeah. The Showtime Lakers, the best ones. They, we took them seven games. And uh, we had Sam Perkins and Mark Aguirre, a guy named Roy Tarpley, who was a great, great player at seven foot, and Blackman and Harper. I mean, we had a, a terrific team there. Took them seven. We lost in seven games. Um, and uh, when I was, um, like I say, that was, that was with Dallas, and then we lost to Boston in seven games. And I, I'll throw out a stat at you. The home court, the seventh game in the home court, holds up about 78% of the time. So that's better than three out of four. Yeah, yeah well, it, I'm a loser. That's all I can tell you. I lost in seven games to the Celtics and seven games to the Lakers, but they were two of the best teams ever, and so it was a lot of fun. But that stat holds up all the time. How does it feel being a part of the coaching staff here? Well, you know, I came here, um, like I say, Brian Hill played for me in high school, our lady of the Valley. Of course, I was like 21 and he was 17, but I was just starting out and he was a terrific point guard for us. So he wanted me to come down and, and join him. Uh, and I had been with Dallas seven years. And then when I got fired over there, um, um, I went to Cleveland for one year with Mike Fratello and Ryan. Mike Fratello is one of my best friends and Yubi Brown, we're very close. Uh, then I came down to talk to Brian a little bit about the job. And they only had Shaq and Penny and Horace and Nick and Dennis. And the, the week I came down to talk to them about coming here, right? They signed Horace Grant. So I said, oh my goodness. That's all we need. There's nobody going to stop us. But I was, I had just been with Cleveland. And then uh, when I'm flying back to Cleveland, because we had a week off to talk to him, um, I was with uh, um, uh, Brad Doherty, who was our all star center. We had just taken the job, Ronnie Rothstein, Mike Vitell, and myself. So we had Brad Doherty. We had Nance, all right? When I go, go to. That's the team with Mark Price. Yes. Yeah, that was the team that the. If it wasn't for Chicago, they'd have a couple of championships. We know that. If it wasn't for that number 23, right? But anyway, I'm flying back, and, and Doherty goes to get me coffee, and he can't get up when he goes to get me coffee because his back is bothering me. He can't get up, all right? Now I get back to Cleveland, all right? Nance just blew out his ACL, and I said, I'm rebuilding again. We just lost our all-star center and our all-star small forward. Now we got a couple of good guards, so... I, it was very hard. Mike Fitella is my best friend. Um, I said, Mike, I'm sorry. I got to go to Orlando. I said, because I, I just can't. Re he said, don't worry about it. We're, we're the best of friends. He's godfather to my son. So then I came down here that year, 94, 95. We went to the finals against Houston, 95, 96. And then I took over 96, 97 uh, after Shaq left. So. You've forgotten more about basketball than most of us will even know. Well, uh, I, it's been a lot of years, and it was from the bottom. And I've been with great coaches: Yubi Brown, Mike Fatella, Rick Pitino. Um, we had uh, great coaches all the way through. Brian Hill, just uh, uh, all the way up uh, the ladder, have been great coaches that I've worked under. And of course, if you're smart, you take everything that you can whenever you're working with a great guy or a great bunch of guys. Any expectations for this team? Yeah, I'm very excited with this team this year uh, because I've been. Uh, it's been seven years since the playoffs, okay? I'm running out of jokes, okay? So I'm so happy last year when, when, when I could broadcast the game and just tell it. Um, but, you know, so happy that uh, Weltman and Hammond were able to keep this team together. They signed Vooch. We had to have Vooch back, okay? Signed Ross. We needed that dynamite guy off the bench. And these people don't realize that 
our other players are so young. They're only 24 and 25 years old now because a long time ago, guys went to college. So they come into the league at 22, 23, playing four years of college. Now you, they're playing one year at some level. To, you, to adjust to this league, you know, it takes a long time. And they've been learning and getting better. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited, really excited about this year. Do you mind in the future when we speak, can I call you Richie? Richie, that's, everybody calls me Richie. My mother and father call me Richard. <laughs> Mr. Adebayo. Please. Thank you. My pleasure. Nice.